It is 609, 45 degrees outside. It is time for Straight Up. This is where I get my thoughts on the news of the morning. Now, to everybody out there who stayed up late last night thinking you'd have a snow day, you chose poorly. But since you're probably drinking coffee for basic survival right now, this news is right up your alley. Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, that's right, you didn't know Dr. Pepper had classy friends like Snapple, did you? Anyway, the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group is merging with the Keurig Green Mountain Group to create a beverage giant with an estimated $11 billion in annual revenues under the name Keurig Dr. Pepper. Now, the deal brings together some of the most familiar names in the beverage section in the corner store with the coffee that fuels productivity in offices worldwide and the soft drinks that fuel ollies and skate parks worldwide. Dr. Pepper, 7-Up, Snapple, A&W, Sunkiss, and Hawaiian Punch. They're all now under the same umbrella as Keurig's single serve coffee systems and the more than 75 other brands that are connected to it. A little bit boardroom and a little bit hood. It's basically like the Jay-Z of mergers. This deal sounds intriguing, but I do hope Keurig Dr. Pepper knows where to draw the line. I'm not ready for orange soda and Hawaiian Punch dispensers at the coffee machines at WSA 9. I work too hard to out my third grade diet. It's bad enough I have to eat McDonald's in my car to save the shameful glare of strangers and I came out here with a pocket full of Jolly Ranchers. I didn't even plan this. I literally always have a pocket full of Jolly Ranchers. Let me drink Hawaiian Punch behind closed doors like a gentleman. All right, let us know your thoughts on the merger or if you 